Lots going on, Tiger Tran clan. So we did stop by a board, and it looks like there's some kind of monster living in the woods that What's I don't right know. You stay? Stop your whining. Let's talk to our boy. Well, here. Witcher, have you completed your task? So why haven't you had anyone burn the corpses earlier? Uh, let's talk to this one first. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fist tech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Dead man! Dead man! Dude, then you got one shot in. Two hundred coins. Take that, you bum. Dude, his legs are all sprawled apart. Oh my god. He got wrecked by the flames. I wonder how much he would have... Well, I don't think he would have been able to pay us more money than he has, right? I think you make the most money, I would assume, by taking him out. What a bum. Alright. We need a blacksmith so badly. Holy god. I'm assuming there's gotta be one in this town. What is this? Stash. I'm gonna try to make it to the crossroads now. But actually, let's let's take a look at our side quests. Roof Guardian Connection, Pyres. Visit Triss, suggested level 10. What are these ones? Witcher contracts. Oh yeah, the Woodland Beast. Talk to the commander. Are you close? I feel like he'll be like right here. Yeah. Oh, that's so ironic. We told you you were near the board. Let's roll, Roach. Double shift. Quickly. What are you doing? I said sprint, you noob. The fact that it's like double shift is the way you move quickly in this game is kind of dumb. Slow now. Huh? What do you want? Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. When he ran to bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Sent a patrol out. Looks never came back. So the job's simple. Bring me the fucker's head, and I'll give you gold. As much as the notice says, I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. But I can throw in a pass that'll get you across the Pontar. So, deal? Sounds fair. Oh, See what I can do. My dude's already grown his grizz back. I guess it's been five days, right? Sprint, my men. Sprint. Alright, I'm trying to check. I'm assuming we'll have to go across the Pontus at some point in the near future. Get a deer. Oh my gosh, you're the worst. You're the worst battle horse ever.
What? Alright, good. We took him out. Oh my god. I'm drinking the water. Is it this thunderbolt boat as well? You got me, bombhead. Dang, dude. I just want to repair my gear. Claude and Nod. Necrophage is fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Before we do this, let's definitely get our meditation on. I don't like not having healing potions. I don't want to break into my things I could potentially sell for monies. So it is... We'll go till 6. So that way we heal. Ooh, up to 600 gold, too. Well, let's go. Got our potions back, which is nice. Claude and Nod. Necrophages fed here, but all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Claude and Nod. Necrophages fed here, but all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Hmm. Wonder what it is. I'm assuming this is gonna Look be... like claw marks. But here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Hmm. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. Let's put our steel blade, mostly because our silver blade is seeing better days. Ah, dang it. Bunch of drowners. Hmm. Might want to look around some. No, Do we actually heal at all outside of combat? I don't know if we do or not. I mean, we're drinking this potion. Oh yeah, we need to drown our tongue for cat potion, I remember. I think we can actually craft that now. What is this? Accelerate generation of adrenaline. Eh. I mean, might as well, I guess. We have it. I don't know if we're going to necessarily use it, but it's nice to have. Bison grass. Okay. Alright, let's check out potions really quick, because I'm kind of interested to know what do we even have. Oh, these have, like, massive amounts of charges. You see that? So maybe we should be more generous with using them. All right, adrenaline points. We don't have anything that actually uses a uh, adrenaline point right now, so it's not super stamina regeneration. I really wish that you could put more potions on your bar. Put it here. <gasps> oh, you can. You have three potions on your bar. Nice. Because then we could have water for backup healing. So R is Tawny Potion, which makes our spells come back faster. T would be healing. Y is Thunderbolt. Oh. Be my spooky witcher eyes. Do I want these? Is this the bison thing? No, it's parsley. Dang it. Ooh, it's an elf. One step more and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. 
still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them, and I'll take you to Venosio. Afraid I can't agree to that. An error. The last you'll ever make. Et me! What? Bruh. You need to use your fire. Oh my god. Alright, I really hate you a lot, you stupid. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, is that a girl? I didn't want to have to kill these guys, but I wasn't going to give them my weapons. That's dumb. Oh my gosh, dude. Bye. Get your hands up. Yeah, dude. I guess, could I have taken these guys with no swords? Probably, right? I'd have to dance around and throw fireballs in their grill, but... It seems way too... dangerous to be worth it. I'm trying to figure out where their... this was their leader, right? my reward. Let's see if this base up here has a fast travel. Wait, is, oh, this is the crossroads, I think, too. I think this is the crossroads. Thank you for your plants. I don't know if these are edible, but you grow them as if they are. Yay, there is a fast travel point here too. How do we get in here? Ah, here we go. Oh, a monk. Wait, monk, where are you running? You seem like you're on the epic quest. I don't know why this guy he got me, man. Oh, man. Oh. Was oh, that a lady? What's that you want? A storm, damn it. I thought it was like a named person. Trees are greater than the Witcher. The tiniest branches. She looked like she was like a quest giver or something. Maybe not a quest giver, but she looked like she was important, I should say. You'll not scare her away in time. I'll not give her up, not on me life. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse beneath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. Oh yeah, because they're saying you can't have animals. So I think every one of these, watch what you say, the trees have ears. Missing. My true born brother, Mikel, is missing. If anyone finds him, or at least finds his fate that he met. I think this is what populates the like the question marks. I think. The missing brother. All right. Well, we'll talk to everybody here. 
I wonder what, what will you buy though? Maybe Looking this... for a man goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Why? Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vorka. Who's this? Un? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I was wondering if I cut them down, what would have happened? Oh, and they're bandits. The with what looks like your son. That's on the pretty side, I think of himself. I see he'd probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Horsons always managed to hide their lasses. Thought he'd outsmarted me, the arse way. Mean he hadn't. I plowed the snot out of that little shit. Lad, that's whatever the fuck he was. <laughs> Must have surprised the old coot. Bet he wet himself. <laughs> what? Your rapist? You stink of dead men. Get out. Oh, come on. All together. Now. Sorry. I don't like bandits. Dang, now my other weapons almost beat up. I thought maybe I could get block that, but not the case. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Wrong move, sucker. Bring all your bandit friends. I'll cut them down as well, you fart heads. Any last words? Come on. Be a bandit scum? We should just pull out a basic, well, one of these other weapons. Can we sort by, oh, I wanted to sort by, not rare, by level, but. Ooh, 10% crit chance and armor piercing? Ooh, this thing's actually pretty good. I might use this for a little bit until we can repair the other. Ooh, it's got a cool... I like the cut of its jib. Oh. Oh. It's the other blade that we had used before that we are using as a backup blade. I like this one. It does solid damage. Alright. Bandits are dead. I'm really... I'm glad that I've brought justice to these lands. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf? 
Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand. Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. Yeah, about that. I'm gonna cut down dirty bandit rapists all day and night, son. I don't play games. A witcher, and not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mikkel. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Could look into it. If you paid me more. To haggle for a higher reward. Amount using... And then click confirm with a left mouse click. Okay. Let's go with this. I mean, this is a little bit below... Just a smidgen too high, that. Just a smidgen too high, that. Tell me, Smalls, is it because our haggling skills like buns? All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't skimp. It's a deal. Dang, 300 gold is what he's going to give me out of this? This is like the best we've ever All gotten right, for any I'll look quest. for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back! They got lost, is all! But, if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills, he'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. So, he's wearing ankle boots. Okay. That's random. Now the question is, I kind of want to talk to this guy. Hmm. Rig change. Oh, the bloody Baron. The Baron is the guy that was given control because they couldn't keep any soldiers here because it was too hard to keep the lands in check. Baron's not from around That's what here, the king right? Said, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folks say he deserted along with his company. Ambassador. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the baron became master of Crow's Perch. Mm. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had hold up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out. But the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. 
that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, it massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Hmm. Alright, I was gonna see if we Wouldn't could mind a drink. sell anything. Show me what you got. I wonder if he has recipes. Oh, he's selling cards. Siege strength six. I don't know if we... I mean, maybe there's something in this game where... Oh, there's their Nilf Guardian cards. I don't know if they're worth buying or not. I don't know. Is this a special card? A Gwent card. Is... Imperial Majesty, look at three random cards from your opponent's hand. Oh, it's a leader. You just look at him? It's kind of weird. I just don't know, man. It's like, like the hardest thing right now. It's like, I don't know if these cards are actually worth it. But we can sell this extra saddle. And what else are you buying these days, bro? Ooh, he's actually buying the this stuff. So he's buying stuff at like a better price than normal, which is nice. Give me a coin, sir. I'm going to keep one ladder just in case we need it for a quest, though I highly doubt we will. Keep one blunt axe because I don't know if we'll need that either. Definitely won't need this rusty butter knife. I think we're doing pretty dang well on leather right now. Wolf hides. He's a poor man now. Really don't need food. Gosh, I'm just wondering, do we want to buy these cards? I, I, I should probably, I probably will Google it off camera just to see if there's a quest or something of value, though I highly doubt it, you know? All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this. Thankfully, we started on the main quest line within this town. We took out filthy, dirty bandit scum. And you know what? I'll probably kill the Baron, too, if he's evil. Because it looks like his men are evil. Or at least these guys, he allows these evil dudes to prance around and take advantage of the lands, which I'm not about that life. We've got to cut those fools down. This has been Tiger Tran, and I'll see you guys next time.